series Inuyasha, and Sango is a very strong-willed, powerful, independent character. She is a demon slayer. She carries a huge boomerang on her back, made from the bones of demons that she has killed. And the purpose of her role in the series is to reclaim her little brother who has been kidnapped by the villain and she will stop at nothing to get her brother back. I love Songo. She's very strong. She's sassy. She's sexy. And she can fight single-handedly on her own when she needs to. The costume was pretty much could be found anywhere, but the boomerang is a whole different story. This boomerang is actually made from cardboard. It took about three days to make. And it is also made from um, some tape and some spray paint, but you can never tell. Um, my dad helped me to make it, and we all both outlined it and put it together. And it's actually called a Hidai Kotsu in the anime. And that's my favorite weapon because she can take out 200 demons in one strike with this bad baby. So that is why she is my favorite character. Hi, I'm Hal Jordan, also known as the Green Lantern of Sector 2814. This costume was inspired specifically by the series Blackest Night by Jeff Johns. And I got into Green Lantern when I was pretty young. Fell out of it as I aged a bit, but the Blackest Night series really brought me back because it was such an interesting story that I just couldn't get back out of it again. Uh, I've been doing cosplay for a long time because I do martial arts and bodybuilding, so the uh, acrobatics and the physique is a big part of it, and I actually like to do skits and do things that are really involved. So. Uh, I had to do a lot with this costume. Every part of it is completely handmade. Uh, this chest piece was molded, sculpted, cast, painted, everything by me. As with the face mask, this will only fit my face. I had to do a custom alginate mold of my whole head to get this done. Uh, all, the, all the sewing was done. This green was custom dyed because I couldn't find the right green anywhere, even online. And one seller even sent me the wrong green. So I had to take that as I could and fix it like this. Uh, so I've been Green Lantern now for about six weeks, and it's going pretty well so far. Hi, I'm Kat. Um, I did a Moogle from Final Fantasy III. Um, I chose it because it was cute and something new, and not too many people really do Moogles. Um, the hat is made, the helmet itself is made out of foam and uh, kind of a flannel-ish uh, fabric. Um, the suit itself is um, cotton. Uh, stuffing, um, more fabric, the wings themselves is kind of, um, I would say a synthetic, kind of bendable, um, corseted kind of uh, fabric kind of thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, my, I am a safe point for all Final Fantasy IX characters when they come to me. I say the words Koopo Koopo and I help them out, you know, help them gain a little bit of life. My name is Nicholas D. Wolfwood. I'm a character from Trigun. I am. Uh, I picked him because it is a rather simple cosplay, but yet it is still uh, easily uh, messed up. Uh, I do have a cross, just unfortunately not with me. The suit is just that, a normal suit that I've had. Um, the hardest part was for me to put the cross together, which I made out of just using a normal Coca-Cola 12-pack boxes and masking tape. Hi, my name is Sharita, and I am cosplaying as Chun-Li from Street Fighter. Uh, I chose Chun-Li because she's my favorite from Street Fighter. I love her. She has awesome legs. She's like the best in the game. My husband decided, you know, Dragon Con a couple years ago, he, I'm going to be Chun-Li. So I'm like, okay, great. And I don't actually sew, so I paid someone a heck of a lot of money to make this awesome costume <laughs> and the gauntlets. And I am now here at AWA cosplaying as Chun Li. That's it. Hi, my name is Layla Stevenson. I am cosplaying Erd from All My Goddess. I chose this character because I always wanted to cosplay her because I, she's one of my favorite characters. And also, I felt she was easy to cosplay for me because number one, we're the same skin color. <laughs> and also, <laughs> and also, um, I wanted to make this on my own, and I did. That, and it went a lot of work went to this cosplay, a lot even to my shoes. They're my own shoes, but I just put felt onto it, and the bracelets. You know, I got it from Claire's, and the whole thing I sewed <laughs> is my own sweat, tears, and work, and oh my god, I tell you, but I love this cosplay, even down to the cape, and to my 
the back of my costume. So, and the wig, and the gloves. So everything, all of my heart to, went into this cosplay to make it work. So, and I'm glad I'm the only one at this convention cosplaying this character. That makes it ten times better. <laughs> Um, my character is Black Cat, Felicia Hardy from the Spider-Man series. Um, I picked her because I'm a big fan of the Spider-Man series and I figured that uh, because of my physical attributes I would be unable to do Mary Jane. So I looked for um, Spider-Man's other love uh, rival, which happens to be Black Cat. And um, as for what went to this uh, cosplay, uh, really it's just a, a bit of research as far as knowing which part to put together. I had to order separate parts as far as buying a cat suit, gloves, um, a corset to help define the figure, a wig, and um, a base mask in which I had to customize. Um, and overall it was fairly easy to do. And as for AWA, it's my second convention and I think it's been a blast. Woo! Is this on? Well, my name is Wade Wilson also known as Deadpool, also known as the Merc with the Mouth. I chose this character because it per fit me perfectly because I have the personality to light up a room. I chose the costume because I walked by the store and it had a cheap rip-off Spider-Man costume and I looked at it and I was like, whoa, this is perfect for me. So I made, brought it home and I made the mask. It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and some chimichangas. And, you know, and the rest is history. And now I'm at AWA, bringing my own brand of fun um, comedy and all that. And I'm hoping to look for some chimichangas because I've been waiting to eat some all day long. Hello, how you doing out there? My name is Rufus Shredding. The character that you see before you is Hiruko, a.k.a. Sasori, member of the Akatsuki from Naruto Shippuden. I chose this character because not only is he my favorite character, but out of all the characters in the show, he's the one that relates to me the most. Left his town, became sort of an outcast, then became evil in the style that he wanted to destroy everything. It pretty much sums it up. The costume itself, not really too much. Akatsuki robe, of course you have to have your hair done in the cornrows because Hiroko has cornrows, nothing else. And uh, basically that's about it. The hardest part I would say would be the chakra threads as you will see. Hi, I am Asuka Langley Soryu from Neon Genesis Evangelion. She is my favorite character of all time in anime. She, I mean, she's fiery and she's passionate and she gets what she wants and who doesn't respect that? Like, dang girl, like get it. So that's why I chose her. Um, this, pro this costume has been in progress for a while, so it's not something that happened overnight. Um, but um, I actually did not make the entirety of the suit. I got most, some of it online, and then I did detailing to kind of get it together. And then I did the wig myself with these cute little sensory clips. And um, that's about it. That's what's gone into my cosplay.